after they are medically treated. Er Earlier this afternoon, when this incident occurred, uh, you may have heard about a pursuit that transpired following this incident. So I'm going to describe what occurred, and um, it, it will give you a little bit more information regarding why we went in pursuit. So following the incident here where the gunfire occurred, one of the suspects fled this location. An LAPD air unit was monitoring the broadcast and came overhead and observed that suspect driving a vehicle with the window shot out, leaving the scene. The air unit continued to follow that suspect and directed ground units into the area where the suspect uh, was fleeing. That suspect became involved in a hit and run traffic collision where they injured someone else and continued fleeing the area. They subsequently switched vehicles and that unit, uh, I'm sorry, the air unit saw them switch vehicles and directed ground units to the location where the suspect was uh, fleeing. Um, at that time, we became aware that this individual here was deceased. So that suspect, what possibly armed, was identified as a murder suspect fleeing this area. Our units, our ground units caught up with the suspect and there was a short pursuit lasting approximately two to three minutes that ended in the area of Owens Mouth and Satakoy, where the suspect pulled over, surrendered, and was taken into custody without incident, both suspects. There was a female driver, and the male suspect that we believe fled this scene uh, was taken into custody without incident. <clears throat> Those two individuals are in custody at Topanga Station. Our subsequent investigation, uh, during our subsequent investigation, we recovered a firearm that we believe was involved in the shootout that occurred here uh, at this location. Um, the victim that was injured as a result of the hit and run um, has been treated, and uh, that traffic report is being taken by our Valley Traffic Division uh, officers. Uh, we, we do not believe that um, that individual is going to have any life-threatening injuries at this time. So. Um, and there were no officers involved in uh, that at the time it was fleeing, other than the air unit, there were no other officers involved when that traffic collision occurred. Uh, there were no other traffic collisions as a result of the pursuit, and um, there are no other uh, outstanding suspects that we know of from this incident. Everyone that we know of that was involved in this incident either was taken into custody here, is at the hospital, or was taken into custody at the uh, termination of the uh, pursuit. So we have a total of four victims that were struck by gunfire. One of the victims is deceased uh, behind me here in the parking lot. The other three were transported. None of the other three have life-threatening injuries. When they are released, we will continue our investigation with interviews of the people that were injured. Uh, there's a possibility that some of the people that were injured may be taken into custody during our subsequent investigation, that's going to be something that we determine as the investigation moves forward. But we believe that everyone that was involved in the dispute here is either in custody or at the hospital. Uh, right now we have uh, three people that are in custody and we have two that are at the hospital. Uh, we're going to make a determination as to their involvement uh, following their release from the hospital. So we're, we're, we're trying to make a determination as to whether that is the case, but we believe that everyone that we have, and she is included, was involved in the initial incident. There is a possibility that one person may end up not being involved in the initial incident, but we believe everyone that we have was involved in the initial incident. That's correct. Uh, at this point, uh, we've recovered two firearms, and uh, as, our con as our investigation continues into the night, uh, we'll see if we recover any, more other, any other evidence. We have a very large crime scene here in the parking lot. Uh, we know that uh, during the pursuit, you know, we had to cover that area as well. When all those areas have been searched, we'll have a better idea of what, uh, what items of evidence 
uh, you know, we have pertaining to this investigation. Two weapons, one for your suspect, one weapon for your dead guy? Um, all, I can, all I can say is two firearms have been recovered. Uh, I, I can't really get into uh, who used which one or anything like that. That'll be part of the investigation, and we'll determine that moving forward. We do not have that information at this time. So, they fired, they fired each other? All, all I can say is at the initial scene, there's a possibility that we had parties firing at each other. We will not be able to determine that until we get into the investigation. Okay, you are listening to LAPD as they're giving us the latest on this uh, deadly shooting that happened in the West Hills area. Right now, we know that uh, three people were hurt. One person was killed, and at this moment, police do have... Three people in custody. They say that number can rise as they continue investigating what really happened here. We will have much more on this incident coming up at 8 o'clock on KCAL.